All right. As you can see, I have covered most of the area with just a few pencil marks here and there to give the impression that there's some grasses there. I'm going to use those pencil marks to my advantage because they are still going to be visible when I put the paint on there. So that is something to keep in mind that you might want to consider putting the grasses only where you think there might be a shadow of a grass. And one thing that I've heard described is that you're drawing not the grass, but everything but the grass. And the same with painting. So I've got a couple of nice yellowy greens and yellowy browns. So I'm mostly going to use those two that I already mixed. And I think I'm going to start with this yellowy brown color. I'm going to mix it up really good right here. And of course I got my fresh so, water too. Here I've got my brush and I'm going to just really... Oh, and I've got too much. So I'm going to squeeze some out over here. Quick. And then I also... I flatten my brush a little bit with my fingers. That's a good option. Um, it makes it easier to get a really fine edge on such a blunt brush. There also are some smaller brushes too, so you could go look for one too. So it's kind of a big line still, these, but I think I'm going to be able to make it work. So I make sure and follow some of my pencil lines at least with my first pass. And then I'm going to dry off my brush again, always, always. And here I am going to get some of the extra up because I feel like these are too big to really be what I want. And then I am going to spread the color down a little bit too. So when you get too much or you go too far with something like this, it's okay you can fix it, especially if you don't throw it away or give up. So I'm just taking it and I'm spreading it down a little bit. So now it just sort of looks like the background of all those grasses right there, which is really awesome. I'm going to keep it like that because I really like that. I think it looks nice. And then I can add a little bit of this brown over here and I've squeezed my brush out really good again. So it's practically dry. And then I'm just going to add some little hints to this with the brown. And I let it dry a little bit, and you saw me suck up a lot of the water. But it's still mostly wet, so it's mixing. So when you get to a point where you want to paint the part behind these grasses, you have to let it dry. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I really don't want to do anything more with this until it dries, because I don't want to take it too far.